Now today's video we are going to talk about foundations. We're going to be talking about foundation do's and don'ts. I get a lot of questions about how do I get my foundation to blend? How do I get my foundation to match? How do I avoid a cake face? I don't want to look all cakey. How can I achieve full coverage? Um, I get asked a lot of foundation questions during the day when I'm posting my makeup or I'm on Snapchat. So I actually one on YouTube and I saw that there's videos with like um, that had to do foundations and the one that caught my eye was actually the foundation do's and don'ts and um, I really wanted to share with you guys my do's and don'ts that have worked and when I went on to YouTube I actually saw that mm, that's the technique many of YouTubers use so I was like okay so I think I'm doing it right but I'm gonna tell you something I have been in the don't list like <sighs> yeah, let's not talk anymore and let's go ahead and jump into this video and if you guys want to see what are my foundation do's and don'ts then grab a snack and come watch. So first off, it starts with skin care. I cannot stress this enough. Um, in order for you to have a flawless canvas, in order for you to, for your face to be flawless and to be like, whoa, you have to take care of your skin. <laughs> Definitely moisturize your skin before you apply any primer or foundation to your skin. You can use any moisturizer that you like. Then the other foundation to do is definitely use a primer. You definitely want to use any primer that works for you. If you have enlarged pores, I recommend using something that is going to um, reduce or um, blur out your pores because the foundation will tend to sit inside your pores and that's not going to look pretty. Don't ever skip primer girls. Do not ever skip primer. I used to do that. I'm not going to lie. I used to jump into foundation and I used to see how I was like, ugh, I don't like it. And this is a primer do. And then you're going to dab it where you have like enlarged pores. And once you have it on, all you're going to do is sort of push it into your skin. Definitely let it sit in for about a minute, 60 seconds, to be able to absorb in the skin before you apply foundation. This is a primer don't. Do not apply primer as you wear your moisturizer. All over the face, you don't really need it. I mean, you can if you want to, but make sure you do it. Whatever is left over from what you just placed where you have the pores. Alright, so moving on to foundation. This is a uh, foundation don't that we do most of the time. It's our shade. We always have to find our perfect shade. But you always can have two shades of foundation. One always darker than the other one. So like that you can always mix them and get your custom shade. That's what I do personally. Don't grab a foundation that is darker than your skin color. Just because you want it tanned. Or don't ever grab a foundation that is lighter than your skin. So always use your right shade. How do you match your foundation? Match it to your neck. That is the, um, the most easiest way to match it to your neck. And I know when you go to drugstores, you can't really match. You can you have to like... But if you go to Sephora or like a makeup counter, they can help you match for you. Which that leads me to my next step, which is blend. Make sure you blend your foundation all the way to your neck. Do not leave that famous foundation line because, ladies, it does not look cute. So, do blend your foundation all the way to your neck. Don't just leave it on your face. Use the tool that best works for you. You don't have to use a beauty blender because everybody uses a beauty blender. You don't have to use a foundation brush because everybody uses a foundation brush. You use the tool that best works for you. Try them out and see what is the best finish that you like. And always, always use clean tools. Never use a dirty tool because you're just attracting bacteria and you're definitely going to break out a lot easier. So you always use a clean tool instead of a dirty tool. Today I'm going to use a dirty tool. Just It's just dirty from yesterday, you know, it's not that bad. 
is always make sure you start li with a little bit of foundation and work your way up to the coverage. Another foundation do is definitely you want to stipple or dab the foundation onto your skin. You definitely don't want to rub the foundation all over your skin because one, that's definitely going to leave it streaky and two, you're definitely going to harm harsh your face. I did it during this video. <laughs> don't go hammer on your foundation because you want it to look natural. You don't want to look like a cake face. set your foundation with either a translucent powder or a regular powder. Since I've been using the translucent powder to set my foundation, I see that it looks more flawless and definitely sets my foundation and it doesn't move any day. I like to use any translucent powder. And I just like to set it pretty much not where I would apply my concealer. Unless you're applying the concealer for you can always apply concealer first and then always just set everything together. All right, ladies, so this is what you should be finished with, something that it looks very natural, something that matches your whole um, body. If you still see that it doesn't really match your face a little bit lighter than your neck or your body, you can always warm up your face wearing bronzer. So um, I already have my concealer on and I already set my concealer and I already set my, my foundation and I just wanted to let you guys see what it looks to be able to apply what it looks like when you apply the right steps of foundation this is what you end up this is what you finish with um, pretty much a flawless canvas where you can continue to draw on your makeup you contour your blush your highlight do your eyes and slay slay the day all right, so if you really like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you really did like this video. Um, if you have any other foundation questions that I probably didn't cover here, but you have it, uh, leave it on the comment section down below. Or if you actually have something that has worked for you, like a trick or a hack, I would definitely love to know. So make sure you go ahead and leave that on the description, on the comment below. In the comment section below. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Mwah! Besotes. Be blessed, precious world. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye.